G'day everyone, welcome back to Tonswick Farm. Today we are gonna get the bar, the uh, bin out, hook it all together. So we need to get everything out of there first. So let's get that done. He's still hobbling, but he's got both legs back, so that's good. <laughs> he didn't hear me. Last thing to get out, camper trailer. We then hook Art onto the bar there and pull it out. And then much to George's disbelief, we hook the tele, uh, the forklift onto the bin and we pull that out with the forklift. So you'll see that shortly. Now there is a trick to getting this bar out. Should be all right, because we are a little bit of a distance away from that bar up there. But because we've got a steering hitch on here, it's quite hard to reverse it back, can you believe? And getting it out, we can sometimes get caught up there. So something we gotta watch for when we pull this out. good on my side. We're all good on my side. this door. That's the bar out. Now time to get the bin. Lift up. Mighty forklift. Yeah, it's looking good, just straight back. As you can probably tell, the uh, ground's a bit wet. 
We had 19 mils over the weekend and a bit of a spoiler, today's Monday even though this video comes out on Wednesday. So yeah, nearly 20 mils, which is uh, fantastic for seeding. It means we should be able to get a double knock for spraying and we're gonna have softer soil to seed into. But the downside is we didn't get that uh, spading finished. So we, uh, we're now gonna wait for it to dry out. Oh, sorry, not spading, smudging. We didn't get the smudging finished. So we've got to wait for that to dry out now before we can um, smudge the clay, which is quite annoying, but that's what happens. So George is just coming around the back of the trucks there and he'll line up as straight as he can here. And Henry's currently hooking all the hydraulic hoses and everything up there because it's easier to fold out. To uh, then reverse back and join our hitch onto the bin. And then once we've done that, we'll hook hoses up, we'll hook all the hydraulics up, all the electrics, we'll uh, crank the fans up, run everything over, just give it a bit of a test, make sure that we're all good. Should be, but we'll just give it a, give it a bit of a test, run the auger. Yeah, got two weeks, so just make sure that we've got everything ready to roll now. Like I just mentioned before, reversing this thing isn't that easy. And then once you hook on the bin, the thing basically becomes impossible to reverse back more than 20 meters in a straight line. So, Borgo have come up with the uh, ingenious idea of take that out and then you pull that out. What that means is you can then now, depending on where you pull up with your tractor, move this left or right, hook on, drive forward till it gets straight and you lock that pin back in so you can unlock this pin so you can come right out here. Then you just reverse all the way back and it all clicks back into place. Makes uh, hooking up much, much easier. So she's a big bar, 24.4 meters wide or 80 foot. And there's obviously uh, 80 tines where 12 inch spacings. Now to get this thing hooked onto the bin. He's just got to get this back into there. So just keep your fingers clear. Come back. Not that he can hear me. And then he needs to go forward and then this will pull straight and then we can put our pin in there. Hold there. Done. And now we need to, oh, I've got the pin, yep. Now we need to hook all the hydraulics up and then the fun of getting these hoses all over here, nice and easy. Yep.
Done. Easy as that. With that, I think we deserve a smoker. So we got them all on. It will leak air once we uh, hook it on. It always has around these seals. Just the dust from the urea and the fert will block that up and seal it properly. So we'll run it up in a bit. And you can see here, we've got a hose to change. We obviously just wanted to get seeding finished last year. So we just taped it up instead of changing a hose. So we got things like that to check and change and check all the hoses around here. Uh, our section control, uh, we call them snorkels. We um, gotta check them. We normally do about two or three of those a year, just from wear and tear and yeah, just go over everything, make sure she's all right. So we're just testing to see that everything goes up and down. And just make sure that everything's all right. And then we'll have to go and uh, change all our points. Cause you can see this one, she's been eating out. So we, uh, we'll just go and change all the points. So it started the season off fresh. We get a whole season on points. And now Henry's about to fire the fans up and then I'll uh, control the auger and we'll see that if the auger's going to work. Just let that blow a bit of crap through. Nice and easy. My camera. So like I said, we're just checking everything over, making sure everything works. You know, we've got two weeks until we start seeding. We'll start seeding on the 10th of April. Um, so yeah, we just make sure everything works. And if it doesn't, then we've got time to fix it. We typically put everything away working, so it should work. But just in case it doesn't. That did not sound good. That's the joy of all the hard it's buddy No, I would have just broken all the stuff out So that's just hard packed fertilizer that just sets itself around the barrel uh, during the during the season and at the end of the season we try and clean it out as best we can but yeah you just can't it's just stuck on there so that, that rattling was it all just getting broken up for the first time and again this is why we check everything just to make sure it all works Expecting your bins? Oh, I just can't believe this thing's got a balcony. A balcony? <laughs> a deck. <laughs> so everything should be all good. We do need a change. If you lift up T4, what we do, do need to fix is that won't stay up. This gas strut, if you let go of that, is that, yeah. That gas strut's bugging. Always on that bin it buggers. The other ones are alright, but. We need to change that one. We got chains on the bottom to check if we need to change. Uh, we got to grease everything, hose check. And uh, that's not just those big hoses or the little hoses. We got to check them as well. Um, we got to grease all the press wheels because they, yeah, we had a few go last year. Uh, then uh, get seating basically. Oh, we got to pump some tires up check our air pressures on tyres. We've got a, not a flat one, but one down there that's uh, got reduced air. Uh, and yeah, point change. So there's a bit to do before we get going. Uh, oil and fuel filter change on that. Air filter we need to just blow out and clean and check. 
and we should be right. So what goes where? Uh, that's always the compound, the per fertilizer. Yep. Canola seed and urea at the front. The front bin turns into cereal seed. Oh, okay. These three bins get filled with urea. That stays the compound. We've got a bit of work to, to do to it, just to get it up to seeding spec. So right now what we're going to do is go and uh, take the headers out of the fert shed. Uh, we've got to move all the other things that are in front of that first. Put the headers into the shed that we got the, the bin and bar from. Then we can pack away the caravan and the, uh, the grain unloader, the bag unloader, the bagger. Uh, and then once it dries out a little bit, go down to the paddock and we will get Grover and Louie. We'll just wait for it to dry out a bit because it's a bit wet. And then we'll use uh, Louie to then bring in all the uh, concrete uh, dividers for in here. So we've got the air compressor, cab trailer, the lights for the new house and headers. And we actually had uh, the boys from Seed Terminator here last week and they went through and changed all our uh, all our rotors where uh yeah they were flogged out our screens were we're pretty much done and then our flails you can see it's dovetailing just there so they changed changed all that out very costly procedure but it was a uh, necessity we needed to get it done anyway and uh yeah they were kind enough to be coming through and go to school to come do it they also changed all the bearings in our uh pulleys underneath so they are ready to roll for this harvest season. <laughs> like a kid like a kid in a candy store, the chaser driver desperate for a header position. Desperate though to get those flags changed. He wants the Union Jack up there. Get rid of uh, either the Kiwi flag or the boxing kangaroo. <laughs> the biggest shit eating grin on your face driving that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you miss Chase have been driving? I miss the last part of harvest. <laughs> Chase has been driving. Yeah. I miss the park just before the last part. <laughs> About to park all that stuff away and then we'll come into here we'll bring the fire truck in and then we'll give it a big wash get all the dust and all the uh, chaff and stuff that has fallen out of the header and the concrete dividers in and you might be able to see the shape of them there and then they go the whole way along the uh, the middle your rear on that side and then the compound on that side and that stuff will be rocking up on the 3rd April, I think, which will be good. And these are the concrete dividers here. So they go in and we've got little uh, metal caps that go over the top just to just try and stop them from moving. You might be able to see, we then put expander foam in between them all because there's slight gaps, <laughs> which isn't ideal with fertilizer. It all just leaks from one side to the other. Whilst the boys are packing all that stuff away, I've got my trusty little lithium pack. Just heading down to Wally here. That's our next job. So we need to get that fire unit off and then we can put our uh, seed and soup bit on the back. My guess though is Wally's definitely gonna be flat. Not sure if this is gonna do it or not, but I'll check the oil and water at least and give it a red hot crack and if it starts, it starts. If it doesn't, I'll just get one of the utes and come down here and start it up. <laughs> not a single bit of life when I turn that key and the isolator is on. Yeah, I don't think this jump pack's gonna get it. Jump pack's on, 
but I don't have much faith in it with it being dead flat. I'll give it a try. No, nah, not a thing. Go and go by voltmeter and some jump leads and figure out which battery's the worst and start charging that with a ute. And we got lights now, so yeah, we'll just charge a couple of those batteries, probably five, 10 minutes on each battery and then give her a whirl and see if she starts. Went to call on the cavalry to get Henry's ute to be on the other batteries and uh, his ute wouldn't start either. <laughs> so it's the day for flat batteries, at least. Izzy started and George can get a, a start on uh, washing down the, the bunker there. And as I walk past the boom on the way down to jumpstart this thing, we'll uh, wait a couple of days now, probably about Wednesday or Thursday before we start spraying again. Just gives uh, whatever was going to germinate after that 20 mils before Henry goes and sprays it. So better to get a good germination and kill it instead of missing it. Henry parked a uh, little bit too close. Had to climb through the uh, passenger side. Let's see. Oh, that's a good sign. She started. Now we're just gonna take off under all the bolts and the chains that are holding this thing on. So they're there on both sides. Then we'll use the telehandler we need to use the forklift as well we'll get this off and then after that we will go down and grab the nourish seed and serve bin and then chuck that on the back of here and run that up make sure that's all working we got everything undone on the uh the truck and then we went to lunch and now nothing so we're jump started again Oh, Wally. 45 minutes later, we finally got this truck started again. So we are definitely gonna have to replace at least two of the batteries because they're, they're, they're just completely knackered. Let's finally get this fire unit off of Wally. So we telehandler off the top and lift and then we need the forklift on the back because the motor is very heavy on the back there that it just droops down so we use the forklift at the back to support that hold that lift the back George a little bit more As easy as that. Now to head down to Roshan where the nourish is. So I gotta move uh, GMB's loader. And then uh, open the door there, and there's our seed and soup bin. Here it is. So we've got to carefully uh, reverse under, get in the exact spot that <laughs> it needs to sit. And then we just lower our jacks down, take our uh, poles out. Simple as that.
We've just got a bit of shifting to do. You've got to push that that way so it gets in its channel. And then uh, same up the front here. And then uh, tighten everything down. We then got uh, to grease and then we've got snorkels that go on here. And then to just run her up and just make sure everything's running, all the chains are fine. Yeah. It's all secured and all tied down now. So what we need to do is find a battery for this because it's missing it. Uh, and then we'll run it up. Just make sure that these augers are all running without any issues. And if they are all good, we will chuck these snorkels on. <laughs> so we've uh, stolen the battery off the fire truck, or the fire unit, and we're attempting to get it in the, uh, in the back here. Fuck off YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't hey, mean that. See if it works. Nothing. Not a. Not a thing. Well, you got something wrong with here. What about the lights? Yeah, yeah lights work. Lights work. This is what was happening. What was the spark plug? Yeah, no, it's not the spark plug, it's, it's the starter motor. This cable just here. Wiggle it. Yeah, give it a go. Right, give it to it. Well, good that we got the uh, motor started. But we've got a dodgy starter motor cable, so we've got to sort that out. Apart from needing a grease, Wally is ready for seeding. Last job of the day is to get Louie and Grover back to the shed and also the fuel trailer which is on the other side. And while we're here we'll inspect the dam. So Lindsay finished this on Friday and uh, unfortunately I wasn't here. I was at my kids sports carnival and Henry wasn't here because he was getting his boot off and George wasn't here because he was uh, at the dentist. So no one was here to uh, do any filming or help out which is a bit unfortunate because uh would have been epic to uh show you guys the grader in action because he had the grader and was grading all the way around there which would have been quite spectacular i reckon the angle of doing that i'm speechless oh, i don't know how he did it but yeah, it's good. The dam is finished and it looks amazing. Give us a wave, George. <laughs> Tight. 
tiny little high-vis speck down there. <laughs> all in all, it's been a pretty productive day getting the cedar all, all hooked up and a bit of a run through and then getting the super bin, seen super bin on the back of uh, Wally and then uh, yeah, the odds and sods jobs that happens within that. And uh, of course, right at the end of the day, the sun comes out. Anyway, so with that guys, I'm going to leave the video there. So if you've enjoyed it, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.